hello everyone welcome to solely science in today's video we will see the derivation of joule's law of heating so it is a very simple derivation first of all you need to know that electrical power is equal to the work done upon the time required so if here in this electrical circuit you will see here we have a resistor R and the work done in moving the charge from A to B so the work done while going from A to B can be given as V with the subscript AB Q Q is the charge which is the voltage upon the time required T so we can write V A B into I now how I am writing I because we know Q upon T equals to I so in place of this I can write I so simply we have the electrical power or the power to be equal to V into I now if the current is flowing continuously then heat will be produced and this heat will be given as the product of power into the time so due to the flow of current the heat is produced causing the resistor to get heated so the power into so heat is given as power into time we have power as v into i so v into i into t now we have by ohm's law v equals to i r therefore i equals to v upon r so v into v upon r into t in place of i i wrote v upon r this can be written as v square upon r into t now we have v equals to i r as i already said ohm's law so v square will be equal to i square r square therefore h is equal to i square r square upon r into t r and r will get cancelled and we will have h to be equal to i square r t so this is the joule's law of heating now in case they ask you to the unit of power then power has unit joules per second or simply watts so this was all about this video i hope you understood thank you so much for watching till the end